Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Bastor Woodworking. I just bought a whole bunch of plywood. So I ended up getting 10 sheets of 3 quarter inch plywood and 3 sheets of half inch plywood. This large supply of plywood is going to make my next 10 projects or so possible. I'm going to be building a workspace along this wall that will encompass my radial arm saws and provide storage underneath. Before I can do that though, I need to kind of disassemble this area a little bit so that I have a place to store the plywood so that it's no longer leaning against my radial arm saw. So to begin, I'm going to take down the shopsmith. The shopsmith's gonna be part of a different project down the line. I'm going to try to make a horizontal bore machine out of it. I should say a dedicated horizontal boring machine. It already has the ability to horizontal bore, but it's like not a permanent fixture that it does. This will be, because I already have two other drill presses. The shop is officially a disaster and it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better, but it is going to get better. We're just going to have to work around the mess for the time being. I need to move the uh, dado radial arm saw and I need to move the lathe. Those stands will be replaced and they will be built into their new um, cabinets. Here's the DeWalt radial arm saw, all stripped of its power switch, its table and everything like that. And as you can see, once you remove the table and everything, you're left with essentially just a very heavy piece of cast iron. Um, I just have to remove a couple more bolts to re um, free it from the stand and then I can move it out of the way. We won't need it during the build, but it will be built into the cabinet that we create. I began work on the cabinets by ripping down some full sheets of plywood on my table saw. I'm using my mobile workbench as an in-feed table, allowing me to maneuver a full sheet of plywood safely. The cabinet is going to be 24 inches wide and 96 inches or 8 feet long, and 41 inches tall, which should be a nice working height for the radial arm saw. I set up my dado stack in the table saw to cut the dados needed for the dividers. It was at this moment that I realized I could not cut the dados on my table saw, and I had already disassembled both radial arm saws. Which means I would need to cut the dados using a router, easily my least favorite way to cut dados. The Harbor Freight Edge Guide ended up being a piece of junk, so I clamped a large piece of aluminum to the board and used some spring clamps to hold it in place. I could then cut the dividers to 40 inches using a circular saw. It was assembly time. I glued intact the dividers using two inch straight nails and then carefully moved the entire assembly to the floor to add the top. Only one dado required convincing. I could then go back to the table saw to cut the back of the cabinet from a sheet of half inch plywood. I only had to cut about 8 inches off the board. The back is held in place with brad nails. 
it was then time to cut the slot for the radial arm saw out and mount the cleats that the saw would sit on. The cleats I'm using are one inch square blocks of poplar and I secured the cleats with glue and wood screws after tacking them in place with brad nails. This part's gonna suck. This thing is incredibly heavy. Now if I get it to the spot and it doesn't fit, that's a whole other problem. Should have more than enough clearance. Up and down now. Side to side is another story. That one, something I can't recover from. So, let's just see if it fits. Okay, the radial arm saw is in there. Well, at least the dado one is. Um, it was a very tight fit, but it did end up slotting all the way in. Um, just took a lot of convincing with a rubber mallet. But I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for today because that took actually everything I had to get that in there. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released, including this one. And until next time, thank you.